What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Great Permutator. This is a indie game made by Rapati Software that is currently on IndieGameStand.com. You can name your price on this deal for the next four days and it will go to the developers and charity. It's a really cool deal and I suggest you check it out in the link in the description. But The Great Permutator is a puzzle game. A puzzle game that I'm really bad at, but a puzzle game nonetheless. Now the idea is, I've played through a few levels and I've gotten lost a lot of the, on the way, but um, what we want to do is we want to get these boxes over to the end. Seems simple enough, we have all these like conveyor belts to bring it there, and we can change these in different directions depending on where we click and such. But you might actually notice that there's different colors. We need to get them in the corresponding colors, so the one that has to get in first, yellow one second, the in the blue one third, at least for this one. And it can get very, very difficult. We obviously have different things that are going to mix it up later. Different types of mechanics, and when we do that, we can actually, you know, get an A plus grade, tiles covered, all that kind of stuff gives us our stats for the level. So it could go like somewhere here, and you can see this one's a tad bit different. We have this transmute, I think this is, no, it's called trigger. Trigger sends incoming boxes to the left or to the right. So if I click this, it'll bring it to the left first, or to the right first, so like, now I have it going to the left first, first one will go to the left, and the second one will go to the right. But that's not what I want. I want it to go like this. And then it would go through, and go through again. And there you go. And this should go first. Oh, yep, there you go. And it'll get more and more complicated until you have things like this going on. And that's where it gets really crazy. We could go and do this one right now if we wanted to, so why don't we? So basically, I want to get the yellow, two yellow ones over here and the two red ones over there. So what we gotta do is we just sort of have to um, make these so they switch around. So why don't we go like this and like that? So that this goes in here. You can see they'll all lead into the one. And it gets very complicated and very in-depth. There's ac I've actually played like a few Flash games like this when I was younger that are very like, you know, complicated but really fun. So let's see what this will do. And it's, there's a very large trial and error period to it, of course. Okay, so it looks like we should switch this. Oh, not that. But this. So it brings it to the different spot. And it's just very trial and error. It's like, does that work? No. Does that work? No. But now it does, it looks like everything is working the way it's supposed to, and this should get us to the end. Hooray! And level complete. Then there's different ones like this one, this one's a little bit more trickier. Okay, this one took me several minutes to figure out as I was messing around with it silently, but it looks like I got it all under control now. A lot of them I need to loop around and then re-switch. This one's one of the first pretty complicated ones, and this one, you know, we have like an array of different orders we need the blocks to go, but you know, we figured it out here. This is going to be the last one I show off though, because I don't want to show off too many um, solutions to the puzzles, because you know, that's not any fun. Why don't we go back to the main menu now? Okay, so now we do actually do have some different stuff here on the main menu. You have the editor. Now in here you can make your own levels. Of course there's different things and different mechanics I haven't covered just because I want you guys to figure some of it out yourself. You can make your own levels, you know, design your own things. Things that you think might be really, really hard and challenging you can throw in here and it'll be really cool. And I feel like that's a cool thing and I'm sure you can save it, send it to your friends, upload it somewhere. And that's really cool. This thing is on Steam Greenlight, so I'm sure that would make an appearance on the workshop if it did actually make it through. Of course, if you're interested in, your, in this game, make sure that you check that out, the Steam Greenlight, and give it an upvote. We also have add-ons, where it's like expansions to it. Um, we don't have any add-ons on right now, but I don't, I'm not sure if there's any available to us, if there's any created yet. But that might be worth looking up, just in case you know more content comes out. And we have different options, of course. Besides that, that is the game. Really cool so far. I also really like this artwork. It has a really good style to it, the music and everything. It's not really, like, retro. It has a good, like, modern sense to it without still having cool pixelated art. But that will be Great Permutator. 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go to IndieGameStand.com to get this deal for a name you price offer. It goes to charity, and it goes to the developers who made the game. A really good combo, so I do suggest you check it out, and in four more days, there'll be another deal. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.